In today's video, guys, um, you guys actually voted for this shit. You voted for it heavily. Take a look. But anyway, you guys wanted it, so you know I had to um, deliver this shit. So now we're here. So now, um, what I'm gonna do this video? I was thinking of two different ways of doing this video. I wanted to one um, do a two view perspective type thing, to where I have the camera on me where I'm talking to you guys, showing you my tools and everything like that. And then I have another camera that's on the paper to where you guys will be able to see me doing this in real time while me talking to you, you know, kind of kind of like a Twitch thing. You know how you have the dual display type thing going on? So I vision that in my head. So let's see how this works. So without further ado, this video is gonna show you guys step-by-step step how I'm gonna do a quick little character design. We'll come up with it just like that. It's gonna be something very, very simple. And because this is traditional, I know I'm gonna do it pretty quick. I do traditional line work very fast. I'm gonna show you guys um, step by step on how to create a character from scratch. I'm not gonna color this. I'm not gonna waste these expensive ass. I'm not gonna use my markers on a play video. I'm gonna only use these for special projects, day two Tuesdays, that type of stuff like that. So I'm not gonna use that for this video. I will use, I will show you how I do my coping liners, you know, how I outline the picture and everything like that. So I'm gonna show you the three steps. I'm gonna show you the under underline work, which is gonna be the light pencil that I'm gonna use first. And then I'm gonna use my other pencil, which is gonna go on top of that layer. And then to top it all off, top it off with the Copic liner. So without further ado, I'm gonna hop into this. All right guys, so here we are. I got my dual display going on, I got my paper right here. So we're gonna start off with the line work first, okay? So first of all, you know, as I said, if you've been following me for a minute, I always start off the same way. I start off with a circle. Yep, you heard me, a circle. Or should I say, circle one. <laughs> Am I going too fast for your SpongeBob? Start off with a circle, it's basic, it's simple, but it, you know, it's sufficient. Circle, um, this will get you to know exactly where and how big your character is gonna be. So this is very important for you to do. I'm gonna kind of look through my camera so I can see what I'm doing as well. So yeah, we just creating a circle. I'm not a master yet. I don't do perfect circles. You don't have to do a perfect circle. That's a myth. Don't listen to SpongeBob. That shit ain't true. How's it Squidward? What the, how the, a perfect circle? So you do, um, yep, so we got the perfect circle right here. We got. Perfect circle. So now that we got this down packed, we start to um, figure out exactly where we're gonna want our character to be facing at. So I kind of got an idea. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna put the line kind of right there, right? So yeah, I got the line right there. And now what I'm gonna do, because this is an anime character. So if I was drawing a realistic type character, the jawbone would be probably farther down, kind of like how mine is right here. So when you draw a circle like this, just picture my head being, um, you know, like the base, part of my head actually be in a circle, kind of like that. And then from there, you extend the jawbone all the way down. So that's basically what this part is underneath here. This is gonna be where the jawbone is gonna come down from, okay? So because this is an anime character, their jawbones bones are a little bit shorter and up because their heads are smaller. But the top of their head is like a fucking alien. So, you know. Give me your fucking money! I apologize for that, my camera cut off and I kind of cussed it out a little bit. I got very pissed off. So anyway, but I'll further do, like I was saying, the jawbone connects down here. So because anime characters have shorter jaws and everything like that, they're not extending like real life pictures, you know, like real life people. So their shit is kind of up like this. So it's very, very small. So that's what basically what I'm gonna try to imitate right here. I'm gonna try to do, set my jawbone just like this. Bring it down. Kind of like this, bring out the cheeks. The cheeks is gonna come out right here. I already know I'm gonna mess with this shit a little bit because I don't I don't get it right the first time every you know every single time. So of course you gotta use your handy dandy eraser. That shit works all the time. So don't be ashamed to erase. If you fuck up, you fuck up. You know, so make sure that jawbone is coming down just like that. Probably bring this shit up a little bit. And I like to get real close to my pictures, as you can see. I'm I'm like bending in. But I like to make sure I get every single fucking detail good. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna put where I think my eyes are gonna be at. So I draw this line right there. I always do that shit too to help me out. 
I know it's gonna be like that. I know the mouth is gonna be somewhere in there. So I'm gonna leave that just like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to figure out where the neck is gonna come from. Where's she gonna be facing? Where's her body gonna be, you know, facing at? So now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm probably gonna put the neck right there. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm probably gonna map out where the, where the ear is gonna be at. So I'm gonna draw a little circle kind of right there. Yep, that's looking about right. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Neck is coming up about like right there. So now what I'm thinking about doing is I kind of want her to be facing a certain way. I'm not sure. Hold up a second. All right, so now I'm gonna take this shit right here because I kind of want her to be facing and turning around, I, th I think. I'm not sure, fuck it. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have the shoulders kind of coming right here. I'm just mapping this shit out as I go. Yep, mapping this shit out, mapping it out. Yep, I like how that looks. Yep, and I'm coming. And I just thought about this too. I'm gonna have her facing backwards to where you, you kind of see her back. torsos and everything remember the body is kind of like the top part is kind of like a triangle to where it it starts off tall up here and then it comes down inwards and that's where you get the um the torso at so that's basically the method i'm using right now so i'm gonna have it come down kind of like a triangle and then it stops right here that's basically where it's where the body is going to bend to where it goes down to the legs and everything so we don't have this bend right here and kind of have her Hmm. Where I want to put this? Okay, so now this is cool. This is cool. So now I can bring this out. Like my eraser because you don't get it right every time sometimes i'll be messed you know i'll be i'll be messed up sometimes you know it is what it is you don't always get it perfect but as, as long as you see the mistake and you can fix it right then and there then you good so map this shit out Oh, we getting it. We getting it. Okay, we ain't gonna give her up a dunk a dunk now. We ain't gonna do all that shit. This, this is about anatomy, mainly. But I have her legs kind of going underneath her.
Yep, it's looking about right. Kind of gonna have the feet coming out like this. Okay, so now that we got this all mapped out, I could have the leg coming out here. I might just do that just to get all crazy with it. Why not? So yeah, I'm gonna kind of have it, um, probably a foot right here. You don't have to, you know, like this, this is just for me, you know, like just for something extra. So, okay, so now since we got this down packed, now we gotta put some clothes on her because we can't have her out in these streets like that, you know what I mean? So we got to put some clothes on her. Probably, um, no, you know what, first, we gotta put some eyes to this chick first. We gotta make sure what type of eyes she got. So that's what I normally do anyway with my digital and traditional pictures. I normally go to the eyes next. As soon as I map out the frame and everything, I, I, I get I get an A-OK -okay from my brain saying, okay, this is good, this, this looks about right. So now what you do is you move on to the eyes and you try to figure out what type of eyes this person have in their facial expression. So let's mess with it. I guess we can rock with a couple, let's see. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right here is, I'm basically about to draw kind of like a um, a rainbow bridge, almost. And then I'm gonna freak it up from there, so. I already know where she gonna be looking because we mapped that out with our line, so we, we don't have to do that much work, all right? I don't want them bitches being too big, shit. <laughs> That's a big ass eye. Dial that down a little bit. Oh yeah, and depending on how old you want your character to look in anime, that's how big your eyes are. I don't know if that's that's been taught, but that's like an underground rule to where everybody who draws anime knows that shit. You know, you, you make the eyes bigger to show innocence, basically. So if you want them to look more mature, you give them more stern eyes, more, you know, stern, shape eyes kind of like this and if you want them to look innocent you give them big bug eyed you know motherfuckers like this that's you give them the you know to symbolize the you know the childlike nature of your character but for this one i'm gonna have them kind of being mid like mature and childlike almost so teenager wise or young adult So I'm kind of going to have that bridge being a little softer, not a little, you know, not too much. Yeah, that eye kind of being like that. Draw the eye fold up there. I always do that first too. And now since she's turning this way, since she's looking back kind of like that, you want to have, you want to create the illusion of the, the bridge of the other eye. I know people's nightmares is drawing the other eye. You can draw one eye, but you can't, you can't draw the other because it looks all retarded and shit. So what you want to do is you want to make sure when you turn in this way, you know, this eye is going to be slightly tilted downwards. That's why I did this part right here to where it's curving inward, you know, so you guys can actually see it. It gives the illusion that she's turning, but she doesn't have, as much detail as a normal human would so i have to imply that by drawing the eyes kind of like that to symbolize that oh she is turned that way so it's kind of curved inward like that so how this eye will be on this side since it's farther out this way is kind of like how it is on the camera with me right now to where you will kind of do a short bridge like that like a short little bridge bam just like that so that's what I'm gonna to try to do. But since anime characters don't have noses like I do, you don't have a, a bridge to actually block my eye out. So I have to create that illusion with the eye. So this is what I'm gonna do with it, right? I'm gonna create a short bridge right there. Short bridge, bring that up. And bring that right there. Bring that straight down.
Yep, I think that look about right. Create illusions. That's basically what this shit is. You don't want it to look too real or too good or whatever like that. You know, you just want it to look, you know, like it's supposed to. If it if it matches up and everything, you fine. You good. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to map this out a little bit more. I'm gonna try to get this to look a little bit better. So I'm gonna try to erase a little bit more. But overall, I think this is, um, it's actually turned out pretty good. Yep, so we create the eyebrow right there. If you guys can see it. I'm gonna need a new camera angle probably soon, so. I this is a prototype video, man. This is, it is what it is. If you guys like it, you like it, whatever. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna map this shit out to where I'm gonna try to put the hair in now. The the, the clothes and everything is gonna be dead last because sometimes the hair will over overlap on the clothes. So I always work from the, for, from the foreground inward. So if it's on the outside first, the first thing I do for the accessories is gonna be the hair first and then the clothes underneath that and whatever is underneath the clothes I do that after that part so you get what I'm saying you go deeper and deeper into the picture and that's basically like working in layers and digital art so use the same concepts it should work all you know all across the board okay so now see what I want to do is I want to create the hair so I'm gonna use a basic hairstyle that I've been using when I create characters like this Create, create some bangs or some shit like that, you know. Bangs is always an easy way to go. A get out of jail free card, you know, for this type of shit. Okay, so now, because she has hair, you have to map the hair a little bit higher than, um, you know, the the head is because of obvious reasons because your hair is more makes your head look bigger than your than your head actually is especially chicks with long hair so you have to map that out as well so make sure you uh, t take that into consideration when you're doing this shit okay kind of Okay, so what I, what I do now, like when I basically um, got my picture looking how I do, you know, kind of right now, I know that um, what's underneath, what I'm symbolizing to be underneath is kind of going to be tricking my brain a little bit. So what I do is I get rid of shit I don't need. Now that I completely got this part up here, <clears throat> I don't need this part underneath. So I can, I can probably erase that, right? I think so. Yeah, let's erase it. Let's, let's get rid of it. Trim the fat. So let's trim the shit. We trimming all this out. Bye. We don't need you. Yep, they gone. Peace. So now what we do now after we did that, you see how clear it looks now? You can kind of see how she looks with hair, right? You can kind of see how it looks. My vision, the vision that's going on right now, right? Is magic coming into place. So now what we do now is we just flesh out what we already got get the hair, make it simple. Don't make it too fucking, you know, flashy. It doesn't have to be flashy, all right? So now what we do, basic hair, right? Basic hair strands and everything like that. We going in, creating subtle little details. She probably has a strand of hair that's going down here, which I already mapped out a little bit. Bam, just like that, right? And then probably up over here is where her hair goes over back her shoulder. It's probably in front of her besides in back of her. So let's do that instead. I'm doing that because I'm lazy as well too. I don't want to. I don't want to draw the, you know, the hair in its entirety. So we're gonna do that. Bring this down. Probably um, have some strands of hair coming out right here to 
show that she's fierce with her fucking beautiful hair. Right? That's y'all ladies be saying to yourselves. Y'all be saying y'all fierce. There we go. She slaying it, as y'all call it. Bam. She's looking kind of. She's looking kind of good, right? See, it kind of makes sense. Slay. So now that our um, anime character is slaying it all across the um, the 2D universe, we are gonna start adding in some clothes. I don't know what the fuck she, she's gonna be wearing. I don't know what she can afford. I don't know her bank account, so I don't really know exactly what type of swag or drip she's gonna be wearing. So what I tend to do at this point, right? This is when I cheat. This is when I go to Google. Google is your friend. Go to Google. There's no shame in it, shit. So what I do this time is I normally look up designs and everything. I'm not going to show you that part. Y'all can do that yourself. I just go to um, probably Google teenage girl or fucking anime clothes styles, whatever you whatever you want to look for, right? So once you figure out exactly what you what you can see your character wearing when you when you're creating them, you just start implementing little things here and there, here and there, because sometimes what's what you think is gonna work on a character up here is not gonna work when you actually put it down. So you might have to do this trial and error multiple times, but since I do this a lot, since I come up with characters on the spot a lot, I know how to create characters just from scratch. I, I, I know exactly what she's gonna be wearing. I can I can tell that for myself right now. So without the, you know, the bullshit and stuff like that that I just told you, I'm gonna do it my way right now. But you use Google, use fucking Google, man. That shit is not, come on now, don't feel ashamed for using Google. Don't let them artists fool you, man. So yeah, see, I know exactly what she's gonna be wearing, so I'm gonna draw that out right now. I'm gonna kind of map it out myself. So I know I want her to be wearing something kind of baggy for the top half. So I'm gonna kind of map that out. And because she's wearing shorts right here, what happens with the body too, and a lot of people don't know, don't actually know this with um, shorts and how clothes actually work. Your body bends a certain way, right? When you want to represent something that's actually coming out, that's plummeting out, and I know this is going to be you guys' favorite part right here because you guys, you guys belong in horny jail or some shit. You you want to make round shapes. Round shape symbolizes something coming out at you. It creates a three D effect. So what you do, right, since the shorts is coming around here to the front, you're gonna make this part curve in. But because she um been hitting them squats lately, so she's slaying it right now, right? So that shit is coming out just like that. There we go. And now we're gonna move on to the top part. I kinda wanna be wearing a hoodie. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a hoodie, right? Which defeats the purpose of this shit right here because I'm gonna have to get rid of this. You see, I just be thinking of shit just out of nowhere. So now what we're gonna do to symbolize that she's wearing a hoodie is I'm gonna kind of have something coming up here, right? Something like that. I'm gonna have the hoodie come down. There we go. Kind of like that. I'm just mapping this shit out as I go. So I know the hoodie is gonna end right here, right? The hood is gonna end right there. But because a hoodie has to actually fit her head in there, I know it's gonna be longer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the illusion of space. And what you do to create the illusion of space is you actually create folds. If you know how to create ripples, look up ripples and, uh, you know, like on Google, go to fucking Google, you know, and look up ripples to where um, ripples and clothes to where it kind of looks like a scrunchie, right? I'm going to create a scrunchie effect kind of underneath where the hood would be at because it has to fit her big ass head. So now I have to create that scrunchie effect to make sure all this shit is going to fit and look right, right? Even if it's not accurate, it looks like it's accurate. That's, and, that, and that's all that matters. And there we go. So now, because her head is right there, 
we have to make sure the hoodie is going downward, symbolizing that it's actually going downward. Okay. Okay, so you guys will see what I'm talking about too more when I start to add, um, you know, the darker, darker shades, the overlays and stuff like that. But for right now, you know, this will do. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the bagginess. Yeah, because you guys can't really see because my lighting is all fucked up, so. Okay. Okay, so because I know how folds work, under the arms are always gonna be very easy. So I'm gonna show you how to do that first, all right? So underneath the arms, since it's like this, right? So this is actually bending right here. You know there's gonna be folds coming. In. Okay. Let me just uh, show you on my shirt. You see how it's coming upwards, kind of like that? That's exactly how it looks on the back, right? So you kind of want to symbolize that shit coming up like that. So. We're gonna do that kind of like that. That's why I say like the best thing to look at is yourself in the environment around you. You have all the answers. That sounds like some prophecy type shit when I said that you got all the answers. <laughs> the fuck do I be talking about? Okay, so mapping out, mapping out, mapping out. Backing up. Backing up. Okay, so now that we mapped this all out completely, and she's wearing baggy shit, we're not gonna see the front of her fit torso. We're gonna cut that out completely. So she's kind of covering up her gains. She's kind of tired of being cat called all the time for her gains. So she wants to wear a hoodie and try to hide those gains. Now we're back at it again. So yeah, um, yeah. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna finish off this shit right here. Okay, so now since we got all this mapped out, we, we know exactly how it's gonna look. The clothes look good, it's set up. We gonna start to go over this again. We gonna we, we gonna go over it with the pencil that I said. So we're moving on to stage two. Ready? Welcome to stage two. Stage two. Stage two, right? Right. So now we're moving on to stage two. We're gonna use my pencil. This pencil is uh. Let me just show you guys what that is. You guys can actually see it. Marcus, show you on this camera. Yep. See, this is this is my pencil. That's the pencil I'm gonna use to do the overframe. So now it's gonna look a lot clearer. So let's go. Dude, look at that. Coming in kind of nicely, ain't it? Okay. I'm probably gonna speed past this part. This part is pretty self-explanatory, so. Music, play.
Okay guys, well there you have it. You know, I completely finished the line work. I don't even think I even have to do this phase. This phase is pretty self-explanatory. You know what it is. I would just be using this to go over the entire thing. I think that'll just be overkill. And quite frankly, I don't have enough space on my, on my phone. I'm filming this on my phone right now. So yeah, guys, without further ado, um, I'm basically gonna end this video right here. As you can see, this is the, the line work I created in like about maybe 10 minutes or less. Maybe maybe 10 to 12 minutes tops. So yeah, I hope this got I hope this video helps you out a little bit. If you guys want to see more of this type of stuff or want me to dive more in depth, this is just part one of whatever the fuck I'm starting. So you guys voted for it. So you know I decided to actually do it. If you guys want a color tutorial on Copic markers on um what type of what type of sizes I use for my Copic liners, please let me know for my next video or whatever. You know you want i'll probably do it as you can see i did this when enough of you actually asked for it so yeah subscribe like the video if you didn't like the video fuck you i really don't care i do this because i want to <laughs> but yeah if you don't like the video dislike it it's up to you it's your life baby so yeah without further ado i love you guys i appreciate it and i appreciate you guys for actually wanting and taking the interest of me even doing a video like this you guys are awesome and, and amazing and stay tuned for the next night live stream on instagram that's coming up on on tuesday so yeah without further ado peace out guys you have a good one